Hi, this is Alan from Hawkdive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can get the classic Windows 7 or Windows 10 or a mix of both start menu style on your Windows 11 machine. So I'm currently running Windows 11 and I've recently transitioned back to the classic start menu because that makes me a lot more efficient. So you probably want to do the same thing. So I'm here to guide you and I'm going to hop onto my desktop and show you exactly how you can do it, how to get it and what's in it. Now that we are on my desktop, as you can see right now on my screen, we have this thing called startallback.com or start all back. That is the application that we're going to be using. So basically start all back allows you to have classic things and enhances them so you can have better efficiency and use case for your computer. But right now, right here, we can see restore and improve taskbar. We got restore and improve file explorer and control panel. We got restore improve context menus. We got improve start menu. And that is the biggest thing that we want right now. The classic start menu. These other segments, just a bonus. But this program is currently not free. You have to buy it. But, you know, of course, as with everything, you can actually do a free trial for now. So you can easily download the free trial program by clicking on download right here that's going to download of course i'm going to cancel on that because i already have and i'm just going to go ahead and click on my windows key right now if i press the windows key you can see right here this is the classic start menu so this one is kind of a mix of a look of windows 10 with the feel of windows 7. as you can see if i can i can do all programs it shows all my programs and these are my pin start menu these are my kind of frequently used programs and it also shows me what I place on this side. It shows me my personal folder, documents, picture, music, downloads, this PC without any of those random big Windows 11 on the center type of start menu. This one is a classic in it, at least for me, it allows me to be more efficient and not get distracted with other things. Now, of course, you would install the start all back. You run it. It's going to auto apply something. It's not going to be exactly this settings. But to access the settings, whatever start it gives to you for default, you can just go ahead and click your start button or start button as well on your taskbar. I think right now you cannot see the start button of my taskbar because it is blocked by our banner. But anyways, if you see that, you can just press that. Once you have access to the start menu, you can right click anywhere that is blank and you can click on properties. Boom. This is the welcome screen. This is what it's going to ask you to do first. So I think right now I am on proper 11. Uh, this is the settings that I have right now. And you can also do kind of 10 and you can do remaster seven here. I'm going to show you. This is proper 11. This is kind of 10. As you can see, it feels a little like a mix of Windows 10 with a Windows 8 feeling to it. And then this is remastered seven. Very classic, trying to look like Aero. I wish you can see my taskbar right now but I have stuff open that is confidential. So we're going to keep it as this, but we're focusing on the start menu anyway. If I just, you know, if I can just go back to start uh, proper 11, this is what I always use and this is what I like. Now we can actually customize it. And as you can see, we have different tabs on the left of the screen. We have start menu, we got taskbar, we got explorer, we got advanced. Let's do start menu first. Start menu right here, you can do the visual style. Change it, just the same thing that I showed you at the start. You can change the icon size. As for me, I just do large and I do an icon count of three right here on the bottom. If I decrease that to zero, there would be no of my recently used programs or frequently used programs. And then all the programs right here, you can of course change it to however you want. Of course, everything here is very self-explanatory. So I'm not gonna go and click every single one of the bottom because I don't want my Windows machine to kind of create this UI bug. Of course, if I like swiftly, quickly going back and forth to many different settings, it's going to not work as intended. What's going to happen is it might introduce a UI bug that is hard to fix, or I would have to reinstall the program and redo my settings, which I don't want to happen for my system. That's why I'm going to explain to you instead of what each of the settings may do, or may not do. Right here, we got the visual styles. So the earlier, we got the override sort order, which overrides the sort order to show the old programs. 
you can do display fly out menus these are fly out menus one of the programs did it earlier which is this one that is actually enabled for me uh, but on a different way the fly out menu makes it so that it has like every program kind of has a tooltip a tooltip shows you what the program does in a way and then right here we got on the general tab it shows you the newly installed programs that you ha may have pinned again i have removed mine so that the icon count to zero open sub menus when i pause on them with the mouse pointer again this one like that as you can see you can see what what i have recently accessed in a way and then we got the search the search function mine is right here usually you'll see it on the taskbar but mine still works on that direction as you can see right here on the right side of the items which is this part or this segment of the start menu you can select which one you want to pop up if i did display user account picture it'll show the picture if i did glyph icons it'll show the glyph icons right there i want to keep mine very simple so i just disabled everything which is text in them now this is all personal preference this is what you want for your system and this is what i want for my system so whatever i have linked in here if you press menu it'll show you the actual menu if you do link it'll just like if you do settings it'll pop up on settings but that's cool and of course you have your chance to enable and disable your personal folder documents pictures music videos the downloads onedrive favorites whatever up to you Whatever I have enabled again is personal preference. So I'm going to keep it the same. Now, just to show you some extra features that is not really meant for this video, but just to give you guys some more look for this program right here, we can do taskbar right here and you can change how it looks. You can even change the icon to the classic Vista or I mean seven, my bad, and then 10. And then it has their own kind of Lotus logo. And then right here, we got Windows 11 flyouts. I like the Windows 11 flyouts, so I kept them the same. As you can see, if I click on the audio right here, it shows me the Windows 11 style flyout. If I do Windows 10, it might change. But again, as you can see, if possible only. Right now, that for that one specifically, it is not possible. So we keep it like that. Use enhanced classic jump list. I did that so I can separate the Wi-Fi right here, and I can also separate the audio right there. Taskbar location, of course, on the bottom of the screen, I can put it to the left, right, and then on the secondary taskbar, you can change that too, but I just keep mine on never. Now, combine taskbar, never, never. Center task icons, I don't want that. Segments, don't want that. Dynamic transparency actually just makes it so that whatever is in use on the part of your taskbar, that part will change. But if you're not using it, it'll be blank, like literally transparent. That's kind of cool. This is how I kept my settings. And I'm going to go and hop onto Explorer. Now for Explorer, you can just do whatever you want with Explorer. Let me hop onto my file Explorer here. Let's say for this one, we got the classic um, file Explorer right here on the right side of the screen. And what I'm going to do here is we can change how this top part looks. Personally, I like the Windows 11 command bar, but you can change it to Windows 10, Windows, Windows 7. But as you can see, it doesn't apply immediately because I would have to restart File Explorer and that might cause our OBS to crash. So I'm not going to do it, but this top part right here should change. Now, honestly, I don't know what the Mika effect on top is. Classic search box, I just have that enabled new icons because I want the newest Windows 11 icons to pop in and not be overridden with an, with an older style of OS icons. I'm going to keep it the same. And of course, I have the details pin on the bottom disabled because I don't have to see all those big icons in the bottom part of the file explorer picking up space that I would rather have see more information about the actual files that I have on those explorer. Make it on top notch. I'm just going to keep the uh, classic context menus. So again, if you hop onto the file explorer, what it means by classic is if I do right click, this pops up. This is the classic, you know, right click context menu. So I just like that over the Windows 11, although the Windows 11 looks good. It 
kind of lowers down my efficiency capacity because I would have to hop onto multiple subfolders just to find what I want. Now, right here, we also got restore control panel applets, which is the classic control panel. If I just hop on right here, classic, it's just literally just the classic. There you go, small. That's cool. Polarize everything with accent color. As you can see, it is present right now, even on just the things that I highlight over on their own program. Now for the advanced, as you can see, it is kind of messing up a little bit because we have been changing some settings, but that is fine. Uh, right here, we can customize the appearance. Honestly, I don't want to fiddle with this, but if you want to change your start menu, custom taskbar coloring, you can change it with this one. You can press this box, select the color that you want, or you can just use the slider. Also for the tweak window settings, right here, honestly, I'm just going to clear, clear. I don't know why I have those two checked, but these are actually useful for just the programs that I like to use often, such as Photoshop, although I cleared it earlier, there was an arrow, you have seen it. Um, but yeah, use new font, don't want that. And of course, I'm not going to go on the about section because you're going to see e registration. So I'm going to get out of here now. I go back to the welcome screen, go back to the web browser, and I will end the video here. Again, customizable. It's amazing looking, allows for more efficiency. You can even resize it if you want, but I'm just going to keep it that way. That's how I like it. And you should customize yours too. Again, startallback.com. You can read the article down below. See again. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to leave like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.